we now calculate an approximation. Well, actually what we want is we want a function that tells us what the gravitational field strength is here. That is what the acceleration of gravity is here at a distance r from the center of the Earth where the Earth has radius r sub e. Now, if we let a be the radius of the sphere out here at radius r, I'm sorry, if we let a be the area of the sphere out here at radius r, and a sub e be the, ra the area of the Earth's surface, then the ratio of the area out here to the area in here will be the ratio of the radii squared. Now that should be fairly obvious. The area out here is 4 pi r squared. The area here is 4 pi r e squared. You divide 4 pi r squared by 4 pi r e squared, you get r over r e quantity squared. Fairly straightforward. Remembering that uh, g of r is in proportion to 9.8 meters per second squared as the reciprocal of the squared radii, Okay, using the fact that we have an inverse proportionality between the radius and the acceleration of gravity. Uh, we can write this, and then we can write g of r as 9.8 meters per second squared times re over r quantity squared. Uh, the reciprocal of r over r e being r e over r. This makes a certain amount of sense. If r equals r e, then r e over r is just 1, and we end up with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. If r was twice re, then we'd have re over 2 re, which would be 1 half squared, which would be 1 fourth. So we'd have 1 fourth of the acceleration at twice the radius. And we've already seen that that is what we have. So that this just expresses what we've already done, but in terms that allow us to calculate it for any radius r. Specifically then, on a 70 kilogram mass, remember that the force is the mass times the acceleration of gravity, the force that we have to exert to move away from the Earth at a constant speed is uh, just, the, again, the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Uh, G of R being 9.8 meters per second squared times this ratio, 70 times 9, 70 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared is 680 newtons, which is the weight of a 70 kilogram object or senator. And we still have the, ra the ratio R E over R quantity squared. So that the force function is 680 times R E over R squared. If we graph that force function, We see that we have f of r is 680 newtons times r e over r quantity squared. That'll have a graph that looks something like this. This is perhaps a little more realistic graph than the last one I drew for the inverse square. Uh, I don't think it's. Uh, I still don't think it's all that accurate. I think it's still not quite steep enough. Um, however, the situation is we want to calculate the area under the curve from r e to r. Because remember, the area under the curve represents the product of the altitude with the width, the altitude being force, the width being distance. And when we do force times distance, we get work. Then we use calculus with this specific function. And I'm just going to tell you the result. If you're in the 241 class, the calculus-based class, you should integrate this function from R e to R and verify this that the work contribution is 680 newtons times r e squared and that's a 680 newtons times r e squared here and that's a constant that we factor out in front as we did before when we had the numbers then times 1 over r e minus 1 over r the antiderivative of 1 over r squared is negative 1 over r for calculus people others don't have to know that uh, and, and we get this approximation If r is infinity, that is, if we take this thing all the way out, if we take it out and keep going forever, 
then 1 over r becomes 0 as r approaches infinity, 1 over r approaches 0. In that case, your delta w is just 680 newtons times r e squared times 1 over r e. This is 0, so we just don't bother with it. In that case, we have this expression. And if we evaluate this expression for r e equals 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters, we end up with something around 4.3 gigajoules. So my first estimate that it was less than 4 gigajoules wasn't quite right. My second estimate that it was less than 5 was easily right.